For practice at exercise 6.14 print duplicates, we need to write a method named print duplicates that accepts a parameter a, as a scanner for an input file containing all of these lines. Our method should examine each line looking for consecutive occurrences of the same token on the same line and print each duplicated token along with how many lines it appears consecutively. So when we do our code, we're going to use this line as an example, and then we are going to see for the rest of the lines if our code works, and if not, we'll modify it. It's usually how I code, so we can start our solution here. It's going to be a public static void print duplicates. And inside of here, we need a parameter that's a scanner, and our scanner is going to read the file. We're gonna have our brackets right here, and then we need a while loop that actually reads through every single line of this file. So it's going to run as long as there is a line in this file. Otherwise, it'll break out of this loop and then end the method. So we're going to say while file dot has next line. And then we'll close this in braces so we can write inside of it. So we need a, we would normally need a string that would store this line if we want to analyze it. However, we're not storing the whole line. We're actually going to be storing and analyzing each individual um, token. So to get each individual token, we could use a string that stores this file um, line, but we can also do this in one line with a scanner. We're gonna use a scanner because we need to look at each individual token in this line. So when we enter this while loop, we're gonna be in this line or this line, any line, it, we're just gonna be in a line. And then we're gonna have a scanner that goes through every single individual um, string in this line, or every single word in this line. So we'll have a scanner, because we need it to be a scanner. And we're gonna call it line, and we're gonna set it equal to new scanner, where we examine the file.next line. So now we have the entire line and it's going to be stored in this line as a scanner right here where this is the first next second next third next fourth fifth and so on so we need to compare this first token to the second token or this sec first word to the second word so before we do this we're going to actually store them so then we can compare them we're going to say string we're going to call it word one and we're going to set it equal to line dot next so this will get the first part hello then we're going to say string word 2 is equal to line dot next and this is going to get our second word which is how so now we have hello and how and we can have a while loop that will run as long as this scanner has tokens in it because we don't want it to run after that there's no point of it so we're going to say while line dot has next we're going to be inside of our while loop so now we can compare these we can say if our word one dot equals and then inside of our equals method we can pass in word two we are just going to increment um, a count that we're actually going to declare outside of this so we need to count how many times this executes. We have two and then we have four because in how it runs twice and then you runs four times. So we're gonna say if word dot one equals word dot two, we're gonna have a counter that gets incremented one time. We see that if it is outputted twice, it's going to be two. And then four times it'll be four. So we're gonna say count plus plus which will increment it if they are both equal. We're gonna to need to declare this outside. We can say count is equal, and we're gonna to need to actually set this equal to one. And the reason why we're setting it equal to one is because once we compare these two, it's only gonna be compared once. So the first time we compare two words, it's gonna be hello and how. We're gonna compare those two. Count is not gonna increment because they do not equal each other. Then we're gonna compare this word and this word. Now it's um, we're going to have a count plus plus, so our count is going to be one after we have this. 
and then we're going to compare these two. And then we're not going to increment count. So count's only going to be one. So we need to start it at one so that once we compare these, it makes it two. We're going to need another else if statement. We can make this an if statement actually um, because it's going to be different and we can run this actually even after we go through this statement. And we're going to say if our count is greater than zero and the next two words don't equal each other, we are going to print this out. And we're just going to make it a print because we still need to print more after this. We're going to say if count is greater than one, because keep in mind it starts at one. So basically if count is incremented one time, if there's two duplicates at least, we're going to be in here. But we're also going to be in here if our word one does not equal our word two. So basically, if we compare these two, nothing is going to happen. And then we compare these two, and we increment count by one. But then we go through this loop, and nothing's going to happen. I'm going to fill out this condition so this makes more sense. Um, we're going to say and word one dot equals word two, but we have a logical not in front of it, so it's basically word one does not equal word two. So now I'll explain it. So we have hello and how the first time. This is not going to do anything in our loop because these um, it does not meet these conditions. So nothing is going to happen. So when we run through it again, we're going to actually um, make word one equal to how, and then word two is equal to how. Now these two are equal. So we're going to be in this if statement where we increment the count. So it's going to be two. So since these are equal, or now our if statement executes, but we don't execute in here yet. We're going to make our word one be this and our word two be this. Now, since these are not equal, then it's going to be in this if statement, and then it's going to print out the word one, which was the previous match of the two, and then also how many times it was incremented. And then we need to reset count in this if statement. The reason why we can't go into this if statement if our word one and word two are equal, because keep in mind, this is a word one does not equal word two. If our word one and word two are equal, well, who's to say that there's not another one after that? And we'll notice this with you. If we did this for you, if we have these two, um, if our count's gonna be greater than two, and if we did not have this logical not operator, it would just print it out. But there's still more u's after that. So we need to account for them, which is why our word one cannot equal word two. So now we can go back to writing our code. And this is if count is greater than one, and our word one dot equals word two, but not. In this if statement, we need to print out our word and then the how many times it's been executed. So we'll do a system.out.print. And in our print, we are going to have the word one. And the reason why we need word one is because, again, after we compare these two, nothing happens. We compare these two and we increment count by one. And then we compare these two. And this is where we're going to be in this if statement because our word one does not equal word two. Well, we want to print out this word one because it was the previous match, which is why it's word one here. We're going to have the parentheses where we have our star, and then we're going to add count. And then we need a space after this because we want to print out this space right here. Now, the reason why we don't need to worry about having a space after um, this second part, or this actually this last part, is we're going to get to that in a second. And we're actually going to have to do code outside of this while loop because of how we are comparing these. So after we do this, after we have this if statement, all we need to worry about is making our word one equal our word two and our word two equal to the next one. This is super easy. We can just say our word one is now equal to word two because it's going from word one to word two. And then our word two is just going to be the line dot next and that'll get the next token in the line and store it in word two so that we can run through this while loop again and um, compare the next two so now we can actually look at these we're going to use this line as an example because it is the shortest line 
we're going to say while line dot has next. So this is going to run as long as our line has a next. Initially, we're making word one and word two, hello and how. So we're going to run through this one time. This isn't going to do anything. Now our word one is how and our word two is how. We check if we have a next line and we have, or we check if we have a next token. We do, it's R, so we are okay to run this again. So we're comparing how and how. This is gonna be in this if statement and we're gonna just increment count by one. And then we are going to go to this code right here and we're gonna set word one equal to how and word two equal to har, R. Now we're gonna run through this while loop again. We're gonna be in this if statement because our words don't equal each other. And we're just gonna print out the word one times the count, which is two. And I did forget in this if statement, um, not only a semicolon, but I also forgot after we make this two, we need to reset count. So we're just going to say count is equal to one and that resets it. And then after we do this, we are going to compare how and are these two are not equal. So nothing is going to happen. Now we're going to compare R to you not equal. So nothing is going to happen. We're going to now compare you and you. They are equal and we do have a next. So we're gonna be in this if statement where we increment count by one. This is very important now because this is the part that gets really tricky. So count is incremented by one. And then now our word one is you, and then our word two is this you. And we have a next, so we can run through a while loop again. We increment count again. So now count is equal to three, where we have this you and this you. Now, we're going to say word one is this you and word two is this you. But there is not a next. So we're going to break out of this while loop. So we actually need an if statement afterwards that will handle this. We're going to say if because these are still equal to each other and our count is only two because we did these right. And so now count is two actually count is three. Sorry, because we compared these we increment the count by one. So now count is two. Same thing for this U and this U. Now count is three. And now we need to compare these two. But we break out of our while loop because we don't have a next. So we're gonna say if our count is greater than one, this is important because it's the only way to increment this. So we're gonna say if count is greater than one and our word one dot equals word two. In other words, if this still equals this, we are going to be in this if statement where we're just going to have a system dot out dot print and in our print we are going to have word one which is this it could be word one or word two in here because they're both equal to each other it doesn't matter for this particular part but then we are going to have the rest of this code except for the space at the end because this means we're at the very end of our line if we run this, we're going to see it does not work in all circumstances. And on top of that, we also need to make this a print line because it is the very last um, part in the code. So if we submit this and put a semicolon here, we're going to see that it actually needs to be word two and also that it doesn't work for everything. We can see that we have um, the i3, the jacks 2 and then we have this next part. And it doesn't skip a line and it doesn't include smirking. So this is our issue and we need to check out why it's our issue. Well, if we look at this i3 and jacks times 2 line, we can um, see what's wrong. And the reason why it's wrong is because we break out of our while loop while comparing these um, these last two, this smirking and revenge. We, we break out of them while comparing these last two, right? But um, our smirking and revenge are not equal. So it's not gonna be in this if statement when it needs to be because um, we're comparing these two. So we're gonna increment count by one. So now it counts two, comparing these two, now it counts three, comparing these two, counts four, comparing these two, now count is five. And then we're going to compare these two, but there's not a next. There's no next. So we're not going to be in this, this while loop. So we can't actually compare them. So what we can do is actually just take this if statement and 
put it below here and just title it else if because it's basically the same thing just another scenario so we're going to say if else if our count is greater than one and word one does not equal word two we're still going to print this out and we don't need to set count equal to one anymore because we'll do that when we look at the next line right here and we need a print line since it is going to be the last part of our code and on top of this we also need to um, look at this part because I forgot to add a plus one here and the reason why it's going to be plus one here is because when we compare these we're gonna have these two compared and then these two compared and then we're gonna break out of our while loop so we're only gonna increment count by um, three when it should be four because there's four here that way so now we have to add a one to our count if we submit this we still have an error and we can look and see that it seems that I have a spacing issue and or not a spacing issue actually but I have a math error and that's because I have count plus one but it thinks it's trying to add the number one to it that's why it's three because our counts three and then just the one so what we can do is surround this in parentheses and then this will actually add instead of just printing it out and then it seems like I have a space right here or a spacing error right here and what that could be is if we go up here and we see that there are actually no matches in here so if there's no matches we're gonna to need to print a line we can just have an else statement here to take care of that and this else statement will just take care of anything that's not in these parameters so we'll do system dot out dot print line so we'll print a line and if we print a line if there's there's no tokens that match each other we're just going to print this line and we can pass the test so this is the code that passes this test looks like this it's pretty long and there's a lot of parameters and things we need to check but it'll give us the correct output that we want for this problem